Hey, hey everybody, and welcome back to another tutorial by yours truly. In I say tutorial, it's more kind of just an explanation. Uh, I had a comment on one of my environmental videos asking why I was getting 60 frames per second, and when I was playing the scene, I was getting 45 frames per second before I was even adding trees in and things like that. There's a few reasons for this, um, a few reasons some of you might experience yourself, some you may not. Um, so let's just go through a few of them. I'm going to start a new game um, and we'll have a look. I'll just do a third person, it doesn't matter about the name. Uh, this will be deleted straight after this tutorial anyway. So yeah, there's a few different reasons or a few, at least a few different things you can look into uh, to definitely uh, improve your frames per second. And there's a few things that you might not even realize actually affects your frames per second as well. So let me drag the project into on this side. Now, you'll notice I'm getting 60 frames per second as a rule, 59, 60 frames per second there. Nothing's happened. I haven't added anything. I haven't changed anything. So if you or I didn't explain that there. If you go into edit and go down to your project settings, you'll see this screen come on the left hand side come to engine and go down to uh, general settings and look for your frame rate okay which is just here and you're looking for smooth frame rate okay just give that a wee old tick uh, and close it down and hopefully you'll see now it's kind of going over to about 190 to 100 okay so that unlocks the 120 okay the reason why i'm not getting the full 120 is because i'm i'm using editing software so which is taking up computer processing power for me um and i'm recording this obviously uh and at the same time i'm also running this on another screen so there's a lot of things going on on my computer which is taking processing power um and which is affecting my friends my friends per second there's a few different things you can also do. So if you are still experiencing very low, let's say you're still hitting 60 or 40 frames per second, there's a few things you can do. Okay. You can come down to your settings. Okay. You've got the scalability section here, right? You've got, currently I'm sat on high, which is pretty average. I mean, I'm normally running it on Epic um, because my computer can, um, but obviously every new, new um, project starts on high, I believe. You can drop it down to medium or low if you really are struggling on your computer. I mean, you always want to be working in the highest possible. I mean, cinematic is literally just, you know, it, it, it is what it is. It's more for your cinematic working. You wouldn't really play a game in cinematic mode. You'd be playing it in epic, yeah? So um, you'd want to work in that if you could just to see what your game actually looks like. Uh, there's a couple of things you can do as well. So like your material, material quality level, when you start up a new project, it will always be on high. Um, you can always drop that down to medium or low as well. Uh, again, you want to stay away from the low end of stuff. I mean, medium is not too bad, but low really you are looking at like, I mean, Christ, it's like editing in a game in Minecraft, you know. Um, the, um, the other thing you can do as well, so if you've been working in your game for a while, uh, you've been adding things in here and there, changing stuff, um, and you haven't, you might find you need to build your lighting. Yeah, that's another thing that always could help and again things like lighting quality can affect your your, your process it's, it's all about what's going on in your game and how much is going on and what um what size you're using right so mine's on preview at the minute which i don't know why it's on preview but you've normally be on production when i start up again i don't know why it's on preview now but then you know you've also got it on you, you could lower it to high or medium again <coughs> excuse me to just try and uh, amend your frames per second. Now, with my project in particular, uh, which I'm going to open up now, and I'll show you. Now, this was kind of a bit of a surprise to me when I did it, um, but what was happening was there was something else underlined affecting my frames per second. Uh, and this comes down to actually kind of the specs of my computer in a sense i suppose um the the main reason for it uh is um the fact that i'm using textures that are a bit too high for my computer to handle right so i'm using currently 2k and 4k textures from the brushify pack right and i didn't realize that the brushify pack was using such high quality well, it, well it, you can tell it's high quality but um 
I was I must admit I was shocked to see that that they were two K four K textures, and that was what was affecting my uh, overall frames per second. This might take a couple of seconds to load up. Sorry guys, it's on the other screen. Um, but once it's loaded in, I will drag it over. Come on, computer. There we go. It's loading up now. Right, there we go. So you'll also notice I made a few changes just in my spare time. So I flattened out the um, the road a bit um, and done that. But we'll cover that in the next uh, environmental video. So I did click... I believe I did this, so project settings, um, come down to general settings, just make sure it is definitely done. Um, so yeah, you'll see I'm still hitting only about 50 frames per second, and that is the only reason is because I'm using textures that my computer can't technically handle. It's also the fact, again, all these other things like I'm streaming at the same, I'm recording this right at the same time, so that's taking computer processing power away, and obviously, um, um, excuse me, God, I've got a bit of a cough. Um, and obviously, again, using the high quality textures, I'm also running everything on high, um, so that it looks the best for you guys. So let's just show you how I found this out. So if I go back to my content, I went to Brushify, um, and I went into the materials file. Um, what did I click on? I clicked on the landscape, I'm pretty sure, and I just went on to um, materials, and I think I just clicked on grass because that's what we're using. No, that wasn't the right one, sorry. Uh, there's a textures file, sorry, there we go. Then I clicked on grass, <coughs> and if you scroll over it, you can see it's got 2048 by 2048, that's 2K texture. And then you've got four, 496 by 496. Yeah, and they're all pretty much the same. That's an indication that you're using a, a, up to a 4K texture, which my, my laptop does not show off in 4K. It's not uh, a 4K laptop or a 4K monitor that I'm using to show this to you guys. So um, because of that, uh, my computer is pushing that a little bit harder to try and show it as best as I can, right? This isn't 4K. This isn't a 4K quality screen. You can't see it in 4K. Um, but it's pushing to try and show you as best as it can. So it, that's what's eating up my frames per second. I mean, you can see how it's going nearly low to 35, 40. Um, so, yeah. So those are the things to be mindful of. So if you're using textures outside of your computer's bounds then that also is going to take away from your frames per second. I hope this has been a little bit helpful to you guys um, in explaining why at least my projects are being slightly affected, my frame rates are being slightly affected. If I was to take this project now and run it on an Xbox, I'm sure it would run absolutely fine at 60 frames per second or hopefully you know higher, 120 frames per second. But, um, but for now on my laptop, it will run lower. Um, but yeah, hopefully that was a bit more of an explanation to you guys. I mean, I hope to upgrade my stuff again in the future and, and obviously, um, you'll be able to see everything at its highest, at its fastest, but, uh, until that point, um, at least hopefully that's a bit of an explanation for you guys, but thank you so much guys. If you've liked this video, um, please give it a like. Uh, obviously if you have never seen my stuff before, please consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.